Hi, my name is Erica Gamet, and in today's 5-Minute Quickie video, I'm going to show you how to set your default font. And that just means that every time you create a new text frame it, and you start typing or you add text to it, it automatically has it in the font that you want it to be in instead of the font that is the default font that comes with Adobe InDesign. So when you're setting a preference that you want to become the default for all new documents and everything new that you do, you want to make sure that you have no documents open. And then that default becomes what we call sticky. So it just becomes the thing that is there by default. So with no document open, I'm going to go ahead and choose my type tool, which I already have chosen and select on that. Now I can either open up my character panel or my paragraph panel, and I'll open both of those, but I'm pretty much going to work in the control panel because I like that because it changes when my tool changes. So I change it to the type tool and now everything up in the control panel along the top is set for text. So for me, I want to choose a font that I want to see displayed every time I create a new text frame. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose, I'll choose trebuchet. And then because I work in displays and on presentations a lot, my font tends to be pretty big. So we'll make it 18 point. Now yours obviously would be some, set to something you would want all your new text to be in. If you work in-house and you have a corporate font, then you might as well set it to that so that you don't have to change that every time. So I went ahead and set the font and I set the size and I might do things like paragraph style settings. Maybe I changed the justification. Maybe we always want it to be left justified. So we'll go ahead and left justify that as well. Other things I tend to set in the character panel, I might come over here to the kerning setting and I'm going to actually choose optical kerning. By default, it's set to metrics, but I tend to prefer optical over metrics, so I have that set. Now, the great thing is not only is everything that I set here going to be in every new text frame that I create for every new document I create from this point forward, but also that the, those items will become part of all new styles that I create because it's already there. It's already built in because I've already assigned those attributes. Something else I might assign is a color. So if I go over to my swatches panel and look, I've got some uh, swatches set up here. Uh, let's go ahead and choose my avocado color for that. Let's actually choose that for the text color as well. So I have that set so that now every time I create a new document, I'm going to do Command or Control N to create a new document. And I'm going to choose my type tool by hitting the T key. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a text frame. And I'm going to fill it with some color. I mean, with some text, excuse me, and I have a keyboard shortcut set up for this. I go ahead and set that. And now it's automatically in my trebuchet 18 point and in that green, that avocado color that we have. So again, I don't have to change this every time I create a new text frame. Now in this same document, I can decide that for this document, I don't actually like that particular font or anything like that. I want a whole different style just for this document, but I would like that green trebuchet 18 point type to still be my default for every new text frame in other documents. But in this document, I'd like it to be something else. Well, if I have something selected and I make changes to the type, I'm changing the type that's selected. However, if I make sure that nothing is selected and now I go in and make changes, let's go ahead and change the font. We'll change it to Palatino, regular. And I'll go back into my swatches panel and we'll choose a different color. Let's come in here and we'll make that uh, cinnamon instead for my text. So now, because I had nothing selected, every new text frame that I create and fill with text or type will automatically have that new style or that new or those new attributes applied to it because I had no um, text frame selected when I made those options. So that becomes default for all new text frames in this document. But as I create a new document, and fill it with some text, it automatically goes back to that default text that we set with no document open. You can do this with a lot of different preferences, not just your text frames. So be sure and check those out so that you are always have everything ready to go. When you create a new item, it's automatically styled in a way that works for you.